Right now, after a two year pandemic hiatus, Chicago's St. Patrick's Day Parade is back. This year's theme is honoring the city's essential workers. CBS 2 Chardet Gray joins us live along the parade route. Chardet, it was packed. Yeah, that's right, Dana. And despite the cold weather, the vibe was infectious. We're Hundreds of people came out looking forward to some sense of normalcy watching the Chicago River turn green in a parade we haven't seen in two years. Going? Welcome to the greatest city in the world, right? A cold Saturday morning brought a sea of green on Columbus Drive. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody! After the COVID-19 pandemic put a halt to the St. Patrick's Day parade for two consecutive years, this year's event had people flocking to watch. I'm kind of impressed. I didn't think there'd be that many people out here, and it's kind of weird seeing everybody's face. Most onlookers went maskless. It's just a, like a sense of normalcy back again, and I hope we get back like to fully like this with like everything going on. It's really nice to get to like just interact with people and like meet new people. Andrew Coleman has lived in Chicago for 30 years, but shows his Irish roots proudly. It's Irish. our heritage, and, and Chicago, I, I think there's the, it's, it's the most welcoming city in the world. The minute you open your mouth in Chicago, it's like, are you from Ireland? And they tell you they're from Ireland, and so here we are. Lines wrapped around the block outside the Loop bars while people were bundled up, waiting to get into bars like Emerald Loop. <laughs> Nearby businesses and Irish pubs are stocking up for what they expect to be one of their busiest weekends in a very long time. The last two years was very disappointing for our industry, but um, we're delighted to be back. I mean, I can't say enough about it. It's very exciting. Not only is Connor O'Keefe excited, but a jam packed bar as well. The bridges are back down after dying the river and Columbus Drive is back open after the parade. But the city posted on its website that the Chicago River Walk will remain closed until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting live in the loop, Charde Gray, CBS News, Chicago. Oh, it's nice to see so many people having so much fun. Thanks so much, Charde.